Hey guys, so I am, I'm off work because of the coronavirus, so I am going to be doing a Plan As I Go series, at least this week, possibly into next week, just seeing how, like, I don't know, I feel like my life's going to be really boring. So, um, I have my Erin Condren vertical that I will be doing, I have my Preparation Weeks, and then I have my Amanda Rachley Doodle Planner, which I more use as a journal. So I will be going through each of these today and the way I plan is I kind of like do my, well, obviously I've done my spread, but then I go day by day and kind of do it that way. Um, so yeah, let's just get into my Erin Condren. I'm going to zoom you in. Alright, so then as far as things on the side, like I haven't even written in my stuff in my habit trackers. I will be tracking my steps, although I expect them to be very, very low. Um, the weather is kind of crappy this week. The two days that it is nice enough weather, I think it's going to rain, so I don't know. But I will be doing my ring fit workouts, so I'm just going to work right in workouts or workout. I would really, really like to do 64 ounces of water. I started off the week last week doing really well and then ended really poorly. So we're going to hope for that this week. All right, and then I do plan on reading every day because there's no reason not to. So going into my checklist, I have done some of these, I've started some of them, I've not done all of them, so I'm just going to write in my list. I would like to clean out the pantry. And then I would like to package my Color Street, my Easter sets. I started doing that, but I haven't finished because my spring bundle should be in today as well, so I don't think the people that ordered Easter sets also wanted something from the spring bundle, but I thought I would wait until I have those. And then I need to place an Amazon order. I need to change out my Scentsy. And I need to make a grocery list. I did like my big grocery shopping last Thursday, but like I'm out of tomatoes. And there's a couple other things that I needed to grab, just like produce wise. So I'm hoping that our little grocery store in town, if I go like first thing tomorrow morning, they're going to have at least some of what I need. So as far as what is going in this spot and this spot, I, I don't know. I kind of want to leave them blank right now. Like I've been doing, I've been upstairs like updating my planners. But I want to save something for tonight. Um, I do have something I could put in this spot. But I don't know because it's kind of work related and that's what my prepression is for. So it's going to be my prepression. So it doesn't really even make sense. I don't know. But let me check off the things that I have. I don't know. I haven't done actually all of them. I haven't finished any of them, so I don't want to mark them off yet. But that's it for my Erin Condren, so we can set that aside. And then I'll move on to my print pression. Um, you guys know this is kind of... Sorry, focus, guys. I'll move out just a bit so I can get the whole planner and screen. Alright, so this is my on-the-go slash work planner. And... I'm... <laughs> I'm kind of upset that school has been canceled because, as you can see, that's one, two, three, four meetings that are going to have to be rescheduled just within this one week, so yay, life. As far as what's going over in here, I had been tracking no sweets, but that's not going well, so I would really, really like to think that I could make it the week without no sweets, but I've not done super great so far, so I don't know if I want to do that, or if I want to put in, I could put in, I mean it's not work related, or I could put check emails, like I do want to check my work emails, that'll work, let's do that. 
And then I don't want to take out or cover up these meetings because when I look back on it in two weeks, when I do get back to work, I want to be able to see all the meetings that I had missed. So these are color coded by school or by district and then just the time of the meeting. Um, that's about all I do in this planner as far as that. So up in my checklist, I tend to write in my bills and I tend to write in sometimes payday, but mostly planner related stuff. So I can zoom you in a little bit. So like today, I've already posted last week's spread, but I'm gonna put that in there. We'll see, and I've already like, yeah. Sometimes, I swear. You know what? This is not <laughs> working well. I feel like I usually just put last week and I just went gung-ho and was like, last week's spread. Well, that's definitely not fitting. So we're just going to leave it like that. And then I'm trying to decide, I don't know, like how much... I want to put in here. Um, it is the last day of the TPC sale, so I might put that. I don't really know that there's going to be another Instagram post that I want to do today. I could post a reminder for the planner party today since I have yet to do that. <laughs> All right, then as far as my day goes down here, this is where I want to keep things mostly either planner or work related or appointments, but not typically stuff that is in my Erin Condren. So I actually, I mean, funny enough, have a online class that I can do today. So I think that's what I'm going to put in and fill up the whole space. Um, I signed up for these three courses and... They're, they're just online, and one of them happens to be today. So I actually thought that it was last Monday, and it wasn't. So it's, it's today, which is kind of perfect. But if I do that, I'm going to end up covering up planner parties. So do I want to put the whole thing? Is there any way I can cut this down at all to make it fit nicer? Maybe if I cut across the top a little bit and a little at the bottom... Yeah, that wasn't straight at all. <laughs> oh, lordy. We'll see how much I was able to shave off in a orderly manner here. Actually, it's not that bad. You can't even really tell that it's like super, super crooked, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And then, ooh, I could put in an icon sticker or... I have one from the kit, the little computer screens, little desktop, I'm going to use that I think. I try and use as many of the icons as I can from the actual kit. Alright, and then I'm just going to write in um, and I, I'll just write in what the event is. Alright, that's it for today as far as like work stuff goes. And then I'll go ahead and fill out the couple things that I know are happening tomorrow. Actually, I think I'm going to leave it at that because Color Street does have their release tomorrow, but... Um, I'll end up putting it in here in some facet, but I don't want to put too much. So that is it for my print pression. And then all we have left is my Amanda Rach Lee, which I have to be careful about because I've used this as a journal and I have talked about the sex of my baby in this. So I want to be very strategic about the pages that I show you. So as far as my journal goes, I do it on the day after it's happened. So today is Monday, but I'm actually going to be writing in for Sunday, if that makes sense, because yesterday just happened and I am able to finally reflect on it. So here's my mood tracker going for March, and yesterday was the 15th, and I just kind of decided that the last three days, I mean really most of my month has been pretty good, 
not a super bunch of like stellar days, but this is already an improvement from February. Um, for those of you who don't know, I mean like I've already just talked about it, but I am pregnant and uh, January was awful. February was a little bit better, but my moods have been all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> So over here on this side, I am trying to keep track of when I do yoga, my ring fit, when I walk or jog, read Instagram, when I post to my Color Street group, when I post to YouTube, when I drink water, and when I do no sweets. Like, you can definitely tell the things that are going well and the ones that are not going well. So, we obviously, like, I just can't get good at everything overnight, so it's progress, right? So, yesterday, I did read... And then uh, I ate sweets, so I can't mark that off. Um, I did not do any of these three up here, which is why I'm not coloring them in. Instagram. I did post to Instagram. Color Street. I did post in my Color Street group. Which I've been doing a lot better at lately. And then I had already marked off YouTube because like, I knew it was going up yesterday. And I have not hit my water. So that is all I can do on this page. And then going to the week. This is just what my spreads are looking like. I mean, this is pretty much what every spread looks like aside from the theme. So I kind of just mark off down in here in the notes like what Baby Lada is at the time. And I like already went through and read this to me. <laughs> To make sure that I didn't really talk about Baby Lada's sex or gender. And I am um, pretty sure we're good. So <laughs> I guess we're going to see. So then I just write in things that happened yesterday or how I was feeling. Alright, so that is my finished spread for last week. What I am going to go ahead and do is get next week set up. I just need to like throw in some color. And like you guys see, like this is very a messy. It's not very meticulous as far as like coloring goes. So I tend to just catch up with the next color that should be next. So like Monday will be this really dark color and then I just go on with filling out the spread. Alright, and next week, or I guess this week, is already set up. So, that is it that I have for you guys today. If I do anything else in my planner, I will go ahead and, like, film it. But it'll be part of tomorrow's video. So, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying. Leave a comment down below with what you guys are doing. Are you guys stuck at home? Are you able to work from home? Do you have children at home that you're trying to take care of? Just comment down below and let me know what's happening in your world right now because... Mine feels weird. <laughs> so anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.